Dun 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 Welcome everyone, Adam is a woo here. Today number five of my road trip adventure directly across Route 66. Today, starting in Albuquerque, myself and Jacob the Carpetbagger are heading east. Correct. Join us. Shall you? As much as we want to hang around, armless muffler man with a sweet stash, gotta be moving on. We are in luck. Today, the Tinkertown Museum is open. Featured on Antique Roadshow, Good Morning America, and even MTV back in the late 90s. And from the looks of it, I think this place is gonna be pretty dang awesome. The structure itself is made out of bottles wedged in the side of the wall. Let's do this. Enter the goat. Enter. Enter the goat. Oh. She's the strong, silent type. But we're about to be told our fortune. Oh, it just there it is. Spit it out on the ground. It's on the ground. That's, that's your fortune. There will be those who will envy you and try to harm you. That, that's not good. Quite possibly one of the coolest freaking places I've seen in a very long time. Press the button to see the carpenters do a little roofing. They're building a house. They got their hammers and working away. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs down there. And the girl skipping rope, her name's Emily. She has been doing it nonstop for 45 consecutive years. Isn't she tired? Some sort of demon pushing someone in a wheelchair and a classic cigar store Indian. A lot of the stuff moves on its own, like that longhorn cow shifting its head and the guy next to him a lawyer get ready for it screwed him there's a massive fight happening between that gentleman they're pulling him We've got satan on one side and an angel of light on the other this is boot hill oh wait a second next to abraham lincoln hitchcock would be proud circus oddities freak show happening in this display case, I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around how incredibly awesome this, whoa! It's the freaking big top. Attempting to soak it all in. Far left, you have a clown with dogs jumping through hoops. In the center, you got the lion trainer. And on the far right, there's a woman being spun around, having knives thrown at her. 1981, Fritz Damler heard the call of the universal freedom quit his job, traded his house, and bought a boat. Then proceeded to travel 80,000 sea miles over 10 years. The voyage of the Theodora. And there she is, the boat itself. Just stationed here in the woods. Kind of reminds me of someone else who quit their job and started to travel all around. Me, me? Oh yeah. It's me, right? What about me? both of us. Ticket to Graceland, purchased by Snow White. There she is with Elvis himself. And she put this little disclaimer, send the prince back home, I'm with the king. And if you're wondering what that noise is, it's a wishing well in the form of a old mill. Even some old tools on site. 
some wacky looking wrenches, and down here, ice tongs used to carry ice before refrigeration. Pick myself up a magnet. Can't leave without visiting or exiting through the gift shop. Some pins, some teeny tiny, very teeny tiny babies, and even even little rubber, miniaturized rubber chickens. The nail puzzle. She's gonna do it. Come on, this is the moment, this is the moment for posterity. Yes, <laughs> nailed it. I don't know about you, but I really like this place. Me too, it's tinkertastic. We gotta be moving on though. Yes, moving. gotta be moving on. Moving right along. Be very quiet, listen closely. The musical highway. Shh, don't talk, just listen. That was it. That was the musical highway. It was supposed to be... America the Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> kind of a fail. Moriarty is one of the few remaining locations of the Whitting Brothers mechanic shop. This one's still open for business. Just down a ways in Santa Rosa, this abandoned service station truck stop. Also, sweet neon up there. First time in my life ever seeing a vehicle like that. Wow, that's different. Very windy out at the real life ghost town of Cuervo. Over time, the roof has decomposed. The shingles have all been blown off. Need to send out a package? That's the post office, right there the vastness of New Mexico for miles in that direction. Not a lot of civilization, just open fields and shrubbery. Don't think Wilkerson's has had a customer in quite some time. Everything's still left inside on the counter, just as it was back when it was open. Inside the closet, there's a coat hanging there. There's a coat in the closet. One of those instances where the highway runs completely parallel to the freeway, just off to the left, going the same direction, just one goes a little quicker and faster. Oh, and look, off to the far left, there's another train. Seems we've hit a dead end, arrows pointing to the right. Okay, I think we're good. This is, this is slightly unusual though, we're driving driving under the interstate, still on 66 proper. Highly unusual, but off the dirt, back onto the pavement. And we're back, back on track. Normally when you find a Sinclair gas station, there's a dinosaur perched out front. Not in this case. No prehistoric creatures roaming around here. Someone's been hanging out in here, doing a little partying, not only drinking, but also target practice. A couple of abandoned cars and a burned out motel in the background. Something out of The Walking Dead. Now entering the wonderful town of Tucumcari. More fantastic neon here than you can shake a stick at. Can still see the bulbs in this one, even though the top portion of the sign has fallen down, is now laying on the ground. Even though some of the businesses they promoted no longer exist, the signs are still holding strong. TP Curios is a gift shop. And there's something very interesting and bizarre tucked away in the corner. My friend Justin Scard warned me there's a mythical creature that roams around these parts. A skeletized elk from Hades. What the hell? He just cruises around town in the back of this Ford. No driver, it's a ghost driver, driving around the elk. The elk. 
Copyright Justin's card. Once inside the curio shop, don't even think about asking to use the restroom or they will put you through that medieval torture device. There's a retro photo of the place from back in the day. Pretty much looks the same currently. Little doggies down here and a little doggy in this gentleman's lap right there. There's dogs everywhere. This provides an update on how far we've come and how far we still have yet to go. Defunct Trail West Lounge have their brand, the TW, at the bottom of their sign. Some businesses are opened and some are closed, like this one, which sits abandoned, even though they did leave their lettering for the display sign on hand. As the night winds down, just realize we need to get some dinner. This place sucked me in like a tractor beam. How can I say no to Mauricio the Taco Kid? This is what we're dealing with. I got three beef enchiladas with rice, a little nacho platter here in the middle, and are you hungry, Jacob? What'd you get? Meat. Night has fallen and illumination is now underway. Listen closely. You can hear the sign, the neon making noise. That is awesome. Blue Swallow Motel, one of the iconic structures of the Mother Road, seen in so many postcards and promotional paraphernalia. They park a car, a classic car, underneath the archway neon sign to keep people from possibly bumping into it and damaging it. But how cool is this? That's gonna do it for today. Remember, please subscribe if you do so. This is the... It blew away! <laughs> please subscribe if you do so. It will keep you up to date on the future of not only this Route 66 trip, but also future endeavors. And if you wanna see the past of this journey over the last few days, I will put the links down below. If you want to help me out on Patreon, help fuel the woo, those links can be found down below, Adam the Woo, on Patreon, as well as if you would like an Adam the Woo t-shirt, adamthewoo.spreadshirt.com. I will see you in the next video. Vlog over.